In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily see your competitors ads on LinkedIn. This is going to be helpful for, for you to see what type of messaging they're using, what images, videos, call to actions, copies, and kind of get a general idea about what their strategy on LinkedIn is. So what you want to do is that you want to go on LinkedIn. You want to find and search for your competitor. So for the sake of this video, let's assume that our um, competitor is Apple. Or in other words, let's assume that we are from Samsung and we want to know what ads they are running on LinkedIn. So we search for Apple page. We click on the page. And then you will see this menu up here, home about products, posts, jobs, live people. You want to click on posts. And then you get this sub menu down here, all images, videos, articles, documents, and ads. So you want to click on ads. And this is the part where you can actually see all of their ads um, that they have had on their account. If you click on learn more, you get kind of like more um, context about this place. Use the ads filter on LinkedIn page to provide additional visibility to members. The ads filter above a LinkedIn pages feed shows the recently active or active sponsored content posted by the organization that has been shown to at least one member in the past six months. This includes ads that have been shown on the platform and then later reported and rejected. To protect our member community, rejected ads with sensitivity content won't be automatically displayed, but can be revealed by clicking view archived copy. Please keep in mind that ads displayed aren't necessarily targeted for you and may include offers that don't apply or have expired. Note, previously posted comments on social actions by members aren't visible. The ads filter is available on desktop only. So you are not going to be able to see this on your mobile. That's how you can see your competitors ads and you can kind of get an idea about, you know, what their, um, what their copy is, what their, messaging or what creatives they are using. You get the idea about what headlines they are using as well as the um, call to actions. So this is very helpful for you and for your business to kind of get an inspiration. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this tip, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well if you're interested in marketing and business. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.